Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the Crafty Creepers add-on. Now I know usually I get to, uh, upset if like an add-on adds a new mob that blows stuff up and destroys stuff. But this is like more creepers and I, and I always say like more variants of, you know, adding more variants of uh, pre-existing mobs is a cool way, cool and easy way of just like making the game feel a bit more like diverse and not just like you're fighting the same handful of, uh, uh, you know, the same like zombie, skeleton and creeper every way you go and it makes the Minecraft world feel, like I said, more diverse and more alive. Uh, so, I, so, yeah, and obviously you can't just make more creepers without them actually destroying stuff. But if they can, if they can make it, uh, make some of them, like, not destroy some stuff. Yeah, destroy blocks without, with it, you know, with it, like, making sense and stuff. Anyway, like, maybe a dark, I remember that in, there was this one, uh, Java mod back in the day where there was this darkness creeper where it didn't destroy any blocks. It just destroyed sources of light, so like torches uh, and sea lanterns and uh, uh, carved pumpkins and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's how you craft a book. You can craft that into a gunpowder clumps, highly flammable block that can uh, be used for storage uh, or as a fuel le leading towards your TNT. Oh, fuse, not fuel. So, give. At P gun compressed gunpowder. What's the difference between this and the other one? Gunpowder. Gunpowder. All right. M B and oh yeah. There's compressed gunpowder and compressed gunpowder block. All right. Okay. They seem to be the same. Place it down. Uh, I need to give myself flint and steel. Well, let me go into game mode one real quick. Game mode. First one, I did a different one each time. Gun. Oh, so there's gunpowder clump and gunpowder block. So, yeah, I'm guessing the clump, yeah, the clump is the new one that's been added, not this one. Let's get a fl flint. And steel. Zero. So I place this down here so it makes a sand sound and it's flat. Yeah. And you can set fire to it and it makes a lot of fire. Does it eventually go away? If I put a line a bit out, yeah, no, I'm on fire. Hmm. Lily, why are you back uh, at? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that's about. That's I am. Why am I still on fire? Oh, it's just almost like give you a fire resistance. Anyway. So, first up is the Colossal Creeper, an extremely rare creeper variant that uh, towers are almost five blocks tall. Long enough to sort her out. Yeah. Yeah, there's nobody. Well, probably somebody just like went through the door and I just didn't see him. Anyway. Uh, rare creeper over the top, uh, most, uh, sightings, sightings are reported in the desert biome, um, and it is, uh, one of the few passive variants. 
Despite being a passive, caution is advised on approaching the Colossal Creeper, as any fatal damage will cause it to explode in a huge area. Attack at your own risk. So, let's get away from my base and let's uh, not... So, I don't explode everything. So, let's go down here. There was a colossal... Yeah. So, we have some... Coal... Oh, it's, it's anyone at all. Colossal Creeper. Ah, it is. Yeah, the weather. So, uh, does the Colossal Creeper summon rain now? Oh, look, rainbow. Neat. Um, so yeah. Oh. How big does he go? Oh, that's pretty big. Oh. So yeah, pretty big explosion. Wouldn't recommend killing them because you don't really get anything out of it. So yeah, that's fine. A, it's fine if like it's a passive mob that uh, if you don't attack it, then it won't uh, blow up, and it's fine that it doesn't give you anything because it's passive. Um, hopefully the other ones have some cool drops that we can do cool things with. So there's the Dirt Creeper, a common variant that can frequently be found in forests, meadows, and plains biomes. It creates a sphere of dirt when it explodes. Now let's call some dirt. So we're going to blow up. Oh, I need some of little pile of dirt with some grass and flowers on. That's cool. So yeah, like I said, uh, it's cool that they've added creepers that don't just blow stuff up, they actually do different things. So there's uh, Hive Creeper, a common variant that can be frequently found in forests and meadows and plains biomes. Honeycomb and honey can be harvested from it, but it explodes into a swarm of bees. So some give Hive Creeper. So, oh! And it spawned a bunch of angry bees. If I just uh, give at P box last bottle. Now let's give myself three so we can see how many. So you can only harvest one from it. And she's back and again. There you get one. You could use this to cure the uh, poison. Lily! Can't be pause stopping the video every time you back over nothing. Anyway. Next up is the Fungi Creeper, a red mushroom with area that is uh, most, uh, mostly found in dark forest or swamp biomes. It spawns in patches of mycelium and a huge red mushroom when it ticks. It spawns in patches of mycelium and a mushroom, red mushroom, and it blows. Oh, creeper. Some red mo. Oh, god damn it, baby. Some mush. Some, wait, what, did, what, what was it called, the mushroom? No, it was fungi. Some fung, fungi creeper. I only really saw one, actually spawned in one, but yeah, uh, spawns a mushroom. And then there's the fun, other fungi creeper, brown mushroom bearing that is mostly found in dive hours and swamp biomes, spawns patch of my same with. So, I don't know if I can specifically summon the brown one. Oh, right, there we go. 
Yeah, uh, I just got lucky with it to spawn in the brown one this time. And it made a brown mushroom. So next up is Purple Creeper, a common variant that can be frequently that can frequently be found in caves. It creates a sphere of cobblestone when it explodes. Some cobble creeper. So yeah, it would be annoying if you're like trapped in this. You have to mine your way out. There's just solid couple of stew. There's some mossy in there. Uh, next up is a yaw creeper, a rare variant that is most commonly found in caves. The pressure of its explosions can embed ores into nearby stone and deep slate. So let's go over here because yeah, stone here, so all creeper. Some or reaper. And he placed some coal ore here. And I, and I assume this would like change depending on the Y level, so let's go up there and see if it hold on, I'm getting a red one. So I can quickly fly over here. So I assume if we go like up here, it'll change like diamonds and emeralds, and uh, not diamonds and emeralds, uh, iron and emeralds. So let's just summon one here. Right clicking with the flint and steel. Yeah, got gold, emerald, and the uh, iron. Also, they don't appear to drop anything cool, unfortunately. Yeah, so it is probably just so free. So yeah, it does probably does depend on the Y level. What the heck creeper is this? <laughs> Rainbow creeper. Let's see what you do. Yeah, it poisoned me. I do know. Maybe it gives you a random potion effect. So, let's go down to Deep Slate, let's summon another one here, and then just set them off. This time we've got dime, Deep Slate Diamonds, Deep Slate Coal, Deep Slate Gold, I'm surprised we didn't get any, oh, and a Deep Slate Emerald. I don't know if this is a mountain biome, so I don't know if it can take the ma the biome and the, the Y level into check then. Well, maybe it can take take Y level because it's did diamond this time, first time. Let's go over here. Do another one over here. There's a baby drown somewhere near here. Deep say coal and iron, hmm. Deep say emerald, gold and coal. So it does appear to be like just mostly gold and coal. With some iron. And maybe a diamond if you're lucky. Or oh, emeralds, hmm. Ah, just so there's, I've not got any uh, redstone from it either. Hmm. You should be, this is a bit of a weird uh, one. One more time. I got diamond this time. Can go f deep, deep. Maybe just in notice him before. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one to really get. I'm not exactly sure how that works. All I know is that it does. Oh, also, I'm gonna just quickly summon one and kill it. Actually, they do have unique drops I didn't mention. So that one dropped uh, gunpowder as well as redstone dust, raw iron, and raw gold. Uh, summon. Uh, what was the other ones? So if I if I shift right click now, if I punch, oh yeah. So you can't go back in the book. So if you want to go back, you have to go all the way to the end. So let's summon a dirt one real quick and see what it drops. Some dirt. Yeah, it drops dirt. Gunpowder. Ten dirt and nine cost it. Then there's the hive. That dropped honeycomb and the gunpowder. And then there was the fungi creepers. So yeah, they drop mushrooms, so if it's brown one, they'll drop brown mushrooms, red one will drop the red mushrooms, probably. And uh, then you add the cobble. It dropped gunpowder with mossy and regular cobblestone. Uh, then you have the short creeper, a rare variant of that is uh, more commonly found in caves. It has a poor eyesight but to transforms into a skulk shrieker when it explodes. So let's summon the skulk creeper. Alright, now that's the wrong one. Uh, I put sk s s skulk. There it blows up. It creates a skulk shrieker and a, a catalyst. Now let me just kill one and let's see what it drops. So if you kill one, it'll drop gunpowder. Did it only drop gunpowder? Huh, yeah. It only drops gunpowder. I thought it would drop gunpowder and like a skull catalyst and, or shrieker. Then you have the spectral creeper, a rare variant that is uh, more commonly found in caves or during rainstorms. It moves quickly but produces a weaker explosion that blinds nearby foes. So, spec. S. P E S P E C Skulk Shy Skeleton Slime Snow Spawner Huh Game Road One So Spec I cannot spawn this in, unfortunately. In case of join rainstorms. So yeah, unfortunately I can't summon it in and I can't find it. So I guess it's just... I guess it was like planned to be added and they like kick all that so but they forgot to add it, I guess? I don't know. Anyway, then there's a cactus creeper, a commonly common variant. 
that can uh, frequently be found in desert biomes. It transforms into a cactus when it explodes and deals damage to any entity it touches. So, so let's get obvious. Uh, cactus creeper. Ooh. And it just grows a cactus. And, uh, and plants sand there. And if I kill it, you get gunpowder and cactus. Next up is the husk creeper, commonly common vermin that can be frequently found in desert biomes. It's infested with silverfish and the dirt lacks the gunpowder necessary to explode. Huh. There's the husk creeper. Husk creeper. Yes, it doesn't explode, it just spawns silverfish. And what happens if you kill one? Oh, that's cool, you get some much shirts. And then there's a the skeleton creeper common variant that can be frequently found in caves. It shoots arrows in every direction when it explodes. So explode! Yeah, it shoots arrows everywhere. Uh, and we ch I killed it earlier when it just dropped gunpowder and arrows. Uh, then you have the anti creeper, a common variant that can be fa frequently found uh, in cold biomes. It distorts gravity when it explodes, sending any nearby entities upwards. So it's the anti creeper. So it just gives you levitation and you float up for a bit. That should be a pretty dangerous if you find if you're not finding like a big cable in the uh, on the uh, surface, because you take a bunch of all damage. Uh, water creeper coming. Uh, oh wait, I've got to kill the anti creeper. Gives you a potion of slow falling, which is pretty good because the only other way to get slow falling is to kill a phantom. And brew it up. The next up, Water Creeper. Common variant that can be found frequently uh, found near water or during rainstorms. It explodes into a puddle that uh, may contain any fish that were trapped inside its body. So, some water. Creeper. It explodes. They release the fish. Now what happens when you kill one? You get gunpowder and a bucket of tadpole. So I'm guessing it's just like a random bucket to of, so you can get like buckets of card and stuff. Yeah, oh there we go, we got multiple buckets this time. We got a water bucket, another water bucket, and another water bucket. Let's summon another one in. Well, this time I'm just getting water buckets. So I guess it's a, it's a bit of a look at whether or not it has uh, fish inside of it or something. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Uh, magma Creeper. An uncommon variant that is uh, more commonly found in the caves or in the desert biome. It has a violent explosion that sets the area on fire. It should also spawn in the nether. So, mag. Oh. What the? Mag. 
Okay, I don't think this one was properly implemented as well. Game is on. Mag. Ma. Magma block, magma cube, but no magma creeper. So unfortunately I cannot show this off because for whatever reason I cannot summon it. I cannot uh, spawn it in with a spawn egg. If according to the game it just does not exist. Then there's the snow creeper. An uncommon variant that is uh, more commonly found in cold biomes. It starts, uh, stands motionless until a player approaches uh, where it uh, can explode into a pit of uh, powdered snow. Oh, that could be quite dangerous. So, so according to this, it'll just stay there. Oh, no, it does move. Ah, I think it's not exactly working down here because it's all deep slate. Let's go up to the surface and try it. So let's go up. Come on, there we go. Oh. So let's well let's try it here on the grass. Does it will it replace the grass? Yeah, it replaces grass. So it can replace deep slate or probably can probably replace deep slate or stone with powdered snow. So let's try it with stone here real quick. Oh it can replace stone. So just kind of play steep slate and probably maybe some of the stone variants or something. See, so yeah, this probably just like a, a limitation with it. Well, they probably could make it do the others, but I doubt the, that uh, you're probably ever going to see find one of them at deep slate. So probably doesn't really matter that it doesn't glue, uh, convert deep slate into powdered snow. So let's uh, look up the next one. So that, oh, I can't read that because it's moving too quickly. So next one up is slime creeper. An uncommon variant that is uh, more commonly found in swamp biomes or during a full moon. Made of slimes, it, it splits into several of them when it dies or explodes. So, let's go over here and summon in the slime creeper. Oh, god damn it, I... Why is it every time I come here, it's got rains or something and I get attacked? Alright, slime creeper. Slime creeper. So if it explodes, it makes a bunch of slimes. Oh, go away. Now I have to kill these guys. And then let's kill one. You kill it, and it makes a bunch of slimes. So, the only benefit you get from killing them is that they don't destroy the blocks. Hey, right, what's the next one? There is the Copper Creeper. An uncommon variant which is more commonly found in snowy biomes or during rainstorms. It can oxidize over time and it attracts lightning during thunderstorms or when it explodes. So let's summon in the Copper Creeper. Hop. So let's watch it blow up. It'll summon a lightning bolt, apparently. Yeah. Let's see what happens when I kill it. I don't know why I'm going over here to kill it. 
I'm only also a trick sword now. Stab, you get a bunch of copper. Seven copper, in, oh, a bunch of copper ingots. Well, they're probably not uh, good. Uh, uh, basically, this sword has uh, looting and plundering, which gives basically gives you a bunch of loot. So you're probably not going to get that much copper. Also, apparently, it oxidizes over time. So I'll just leave him on that tree. Well, he jumped off the tree. So I'll just say, uh, there's a const construction creeper. A rare variant that is slightly more common in, de in the desert or forest biomes. It builds a house when it explodes. Gonna pick up the pieces and build a Lego house. Construction creeper. Oh, it makes it so you got a redstone torch, you've got a carpet up with TNT and a piston. There's a chest here. Ah! So I see, so if you open the chest, because there's a trap chest, it'll send out a redstone signal. And I. Yeah. So, it'll activate this like piece of redstone dust, I guess. And hold on, let's break this wall. And let's see exactly how they made this work. So, yeah, so the chest is there, so it'll activate that redstone dust, which will send the signal out in all four directions. Powering that block, which would power the piston. So, so yeah, you're just like, ah, oh, I didn't destroy anything. So, oh, hold on. Ah, oh, I didn't destroy anything. I'm just gonna open this chest and uh oh. And you can, you have a time to run away, but yeah. That's cool. Basically an instant base if you need one. Uh, let's see what it'll give me when I kill it. Oh yeah, he's oxidized a bit, see? So now he's a slightly weathered copper creeper. And if you kill him, you get to uh, bricks. Then there's the Ender Creeper, a rare variant that cannot spawn during a rainstorm. It is uh, over two blocks tall and that it can teleport itself as uh, well as uh, any nearby entities when it explodes. Oh, wow, well, you don't like rain. Oh, yeah, and all these can be charged, by the way, so... I guess he just does more damage. Uh, let me clear the weather. Where... Where... Uh, clear... One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I thought it wouldn't come out if I'm underneath the trees because it's daytime. Anyway. But yeah, and the creeper. Blows up, teleports you around. Doesn't actually do any damage. Now let's see what it drops. In the pills and chorus fruit. Then there's the glowing creeper, rare variant that is slightly more common in desert biomes. It emits a dangerous energy field and explodes violently in a large area, but has a longer fuse. Glow, glowing creeper. 
Well, uh, you, uh, you, that, that's quite dang, that would be quite dangerous if you find spider. You're, it's daytime, you're not supposed to be attacking me, stupid spider. Uh, let's see what it drops. Uh, a lot of powder by the looks of it. And the forest is burning down. Ah, oh, the rainbow creeper, we saw this earlier. A rare variant of that is more commonly found during rainstorms. It explodes with a 50-50 chance of providing a random positive or negative status effect. So, some re... Oh, I can just do... Um, rain... Rainbow. Yeah, that probably gave me a positive one because I have all the positive ones. What do, happens if I kill it? Oh. It drops die. Oh, it's night time. Turn set zero. Right, so next up is the Shy Creeper. A way of hearing to that is a more commonly found in dark forest biomes or near water. It doesn't want to be seen and will run away from the player. Ah, oh, exploded. Oh, what if I fly away so it doesn't explode? Yeah, now it's one in the way. So yeah, if you get too close, it will explode. It will try and run away from the player. And if you kill it, it drops gunpowder. Oh, and gas tears. That might actually be a good way of like, getting more gas tears. Again, gas tears better than like, it set, setting up a gas farm. Uh, there's the paper creeper. Rear variant that is more commonly found in dark forest bio. It's a 2D... It's 2D... And produces a two-dimensional experience. How do they get that to work? Pop. Yeah. Ah, it's just a line. Okay. And he drops paper and gunpowder. Next up is the Confetti Creeper, a rare variant that is slightly more common in the snowy biomes. It first appears as a regular creeper, but it explodes into harmless confetti. I do not know how to spell confetti. <sighs> See, it looks... Just like a normal creeper. Where'd he go? There he is. Right, let's kill it. And then he gets a smile on his face when it starts to explode. And he drops cakes. Very nice. They're actually a pretty good source of food. Just that they just not really good to source of like a saturation, a really bad saturation. Wait, is that all of them? Uh, yeah, actually, got, yeah, that's all of them. All right then, so time for my thoughts. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, and, and like I said at the beginning, I, I have to give them uh, uh, props for like having them not all just uh, be creeper but looks different. They uh, actually do different things. Now, there's, I don't know if they can tell, if an add-on could tell what uh, difficulty you're on, but there'd be a cool one for like, if you're on hard difficulty, uh, of like, uh, the, a silver fish, uh, creeper, that, because uh, I remember this being in like, some of the harder, uh, like, mod packs back in the day on Java, like, uh, to the core. Uh, I remember watching the, uh, Duncan's series, like, going to the core, best Minecrafters. Going to the anyway, I'm getting uh, distracted, but basically, uh, it would uh, summon a 
a hollow sphere of uh, a of like silverfish cobblestone, and then inside that sphere would be you in water. So you so it'd be like really slow to mine out of the cobblestone sphere, uh, and then when you did, it would like summon a bunch of silverfish. Um. So that was uh, really cool. So maybe that being a like hard mode only uh, creeper, if that's, that'd be possible, that would be cool. But yeah, other than that, yeah, lots of difficult new types of creepers. I really enjoyed this. Some of them are cool and uh, uh, a good way of like getting uh, different uh, Items such as, as ores and stuff. Some you want to explode, most you don't. All of them, well, they don't have new drops, but they, well, they have unique, you know, they have unique drops, so they each drop something unique to them, uh, as well as gunpowder. Uh, so, yeah, and I assume they have the same spawning mechanics as a, a normal creeper, so if you have a creeper farm, then you could farm these creepers with it. Uh, there are a couple like that are just like straight up missing I guess or ju I just could basically I just couldn't show them off. Um, so I don't know what's up with them. Like I said maybe they were planned to be added but they just didn't get like finished uh, before the add-on was re before like they wanted to release the add-on or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. And bye-bye!